And three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. This is Socratic Dialogue. We're actually going to talk about uh, Black Mirror in the beginning. But then we're kind of like, yo, was there anything really good in this in this season? No. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I fell asleep during the second one. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was up for all of them. I, I watched it all. But... What would you think? What was your overall impression? Uh... Not that good. Yeah, I know. I feel like they're kind of falling off, but yeah. like, yeah. at the same time, I'd still watch it because you're just hoping for like good episodes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I think it just happened to be that these three were not good. That's so, all. I guess maybe. Yeah, I, I felt like the the last one was like very cookie cutter. Like there was no like the last one. The last episode the with last... Miley Cyrus. I was like, oh, oh of the course it would end like this. Like, oh yeah, yeah happy, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah. If she had died or something, that would have been, like, yeah, real yeah. Black Mirror. But then she was, like, That's in a band at the end. I was like, okay, this is, like, Disney. Right, right, now. right. right. It's like, Disney was swearing. Right, yeah. You know, like, they gave Miley Cyrus a potty mouth. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I mean, it felt like... It, but then it ended Wait, it, with yeah. a Disney way. No, so the, I was like, what? No, the funny thing is, like, it's kind of like her... It was, like, her career like that, sort of. Oh, so she was, like, telling her life? Yeah, right? I guess. I don't know. Because she Maybe. couldn't say stuff when she was with Disney. Oh, true. So you think she's just rebelling? No, I'm just saying, I don't know what happened in her career. It was kind of similar. Yeah, I see. No, yeah, I get what you're saying. That's what I was just saying, yeah. True. So that's probably why they picked her. You I know um, her father, you know the song Achy Breaky Heart? No. Wow, really? Eh? All right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember names of songs. If I hear it, maybe uh, it's, it'll like trigger Dum, a memory. Dum, uh, huh. My achy, breaky heart. Sure, whatever. Da, 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 da. No? Maybe. Wow, all right, true. I'm just saying maybe. Possible. This is a perfect segue into our actual topic, oh. which is um, social clusters. <laughs> Can people live in cities? Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, I guess I guess really the case in point there was I was going to be like, wow, like, I guess it was just how you were brought up. You didn't... You weren't as exposed to certain things. By comparison to like other people maybe you know what i'm saying like like um did you ever eat craft dinner as a kid uh i think i had once or twice like i didn't like it yeah primarily what did you eat in your home mainly indian food yeah <laughs> yes and uh i uh, mainly filipino food but i did not like it so they would give me like Western food. It was like craft dinner and hot dogs. Oh, it was my more, more, yeah, it was more my brother that's asking for like craft dinner and stuff like that. Oh, really? He was into that stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He was born here? I was born here. No, he was oh, born in okay, India. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Weird switch. But yeah. yeah, anyways. Yeah. So um, it, it really got me thinking it's like, can people actually live in cities? Like, you've been to. So, like, what is a city? A city is, like, a bunch of people that have collectively come together of different cultures trying to cohabitate in a space. In the, uh, you know, I would say, modern cities? Like, in, in Western world cities. Because there are cities... True, in... yeah, okay, okay. Touche, <laughs> touche. Okay, okay, okay. Can people live in Western cities? Right. A multicultural... Is that what there are, it's perfect, perfect. All right, the real question here is, uh, is a multicultural city... The best thing is the multicultural. Uh, well, in some ways, yes. In some ways, no. I guess. Uh, what I mean by that is like the options for food become an abundant choice. Yeah, true. If you were into food, right? You know uh, that that's funny. Um, <laughs> you know, like globalization, how they yeah. bring like different products from around the world. Right. They said that that's specifically because of immigration. I was reading this food right. book, and yeah, they were yeah, saying, yeah. like, how um, without immigration, you wouldn't have globalization. But it makes sense. Cause yeah, like, yeah, of yeah, course, these of people course. going around. But it's like, you never think about it like that? Yeah. You know, like, because mm-hmm. then, like, it was a certain type of food, and then all these, like, Koreans started moving into an area, and then all the food switched. You know what I mean? Right, right. See, uh, what also happens in cities, what I... I mean, uh, it's a mixed bag, right? Like, so, in... In, in 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 the city, generally, yeah, you'll find different kinds of things to eat uh, from different kinds of places around the world, right? Yeah. Uh, but then, where people live, what tends to happen is people stick to 
They're, they're clusters. They're clusters. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I didn't even think about that. Like, you know, like when they think of Brampton, what do you think of? Brown people. Yeah. <laughs> what has it turned into, the name? Brown Town, right? Really? Oh, I, I, didn't I, know I don't that. know. That's I don't know. so funny. I thought so. I, thought, I heard that. And then so. uh, Mississauga is like Asian people. Yes. Richmond yeah. Hill is also Asian people. You're or like rich a, people. R- and Richmond. Richmond Hill. Ah, true, true, true. true. <laughs> And then I was driving to, uh, where was that place? Remember, it's like close by. Uh, Jewish, like. I yeah, don't, but uh, I forgot. Um, uh, for, uh, Vaughn? Was it Vaughn? I think was? maybe, yeah. Like close to York. Are you think the York University, was it? Yeah, but in like my. Um, like that area is all like Jewish. I was so surprised because I'd never seen this before. Like I was driving <laughs> with the GPS and then it brought me there and I was like, what? Right. Like right, I did right. not see this cluster before. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you could yeah. find like little hubs. Around I mean, I like haven't Toronto. even seen that myself. It's just like, where are they hitting at? <laughs> yeah, so it crazy craziness. But like, okay, so then this is the real idea about multiculturalism. Like it works when it works, but like more often than not, it brings out some sort of racism. Because how can you have racism in like Asian countries where it's like, or like European countries, or like so like. The West mm. is kind of like the stomping grounds for all races. You know what I mean? Like, if you go to yeah. Europe, it's just like European people, primarily. Right. Yeah. If you go to like Asia, it's primarily Asian people, et cetera, et cetera. Although this is changing, but like the global mm. stage is the mm. West. Right. You know, and you have like all these different cultures trying to like co- cohabitate. Yeah. But the problem is, it's like you have different cultures. And then you're like, oh, ignorance. You know, like, Mm -hmm. or then some people are like, oh, you should just, like, amalgamate to our, like, it's like, uh, they have that rule now, or that growing rule about the hijabs, and they're like, you can't wear it, or something like that, for TSAs, and then they're, like, fighting back, and, like, there's not a judgment call on that, like, but Mm. it's just, like, this is, these are the things you're gonna run into. Right, right. You know, it's like, do you, do you, like, assimilate? Or do you just go back to where you came from? But where you came from is not good. So it's mm. like, okay, we're seeking asylum in the West, but then what are the rules we got to follow here? Yeah. Do we have to follow the rules? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas, like, I remember when we were a kid, um, this was like a big, this still stuck, stick with me, but like we were talking about uh, melting pots mm-hmm. and uh, mosaics. Yeah. And like Canada is a mosaic. Oh, yeah, I remember those. Remember, those remember those that? Yeah, remember like used, civics, yeah. right? Or something yeah, like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like in elementary school and like, they said like Canada is a um, mosaic because it allows you to be who you are, mm-hmm. whereas like America is a melting pot where like everyone's got to become the same. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So it's like I mean, I don't which is better. Like, how do we? I don't know why can't why isn't America more like multi? I don't like mosaic. Why not? I don't. Understand. I I don't know. That's just what I remember is being maybe a kid. Like, maybe it changed. Maybe it changed. Yeah. Maybe it changed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm like, uh, I mean, there are positives and negatives, right? Like, but uh, I mean, sometimes, like, a lot of times, these these things, why why even have uh, immigration is also uh, there are jobs that just won't be filled by the local community. Like, you yeah, that's need, why you have to leave. You, yeah, yeah. Or you need to get people from outside of this country. Right, like that's the immigration to bring them in. Right, right, right. To uh, fit certain jobs that your own community isn't uh, uh, isn't isn't um, prepared for, or you know what I mean? Right, right, or, right yeah. Or, like has skills for that kind of stuff, right? So, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, it, it makes sense why we have it. Yeah. But it's just like, is it the best? Or maybe these are the growing pains because, like, I started to think. You know that joke, like, Russell mm. Peters, like, in the future, everyone's going to be, like, some sort of tan? <laughs> right. Because, like, all the Asians and, like, the Indians will, like, merge into one, and then you'll have, like, one color. Maybe that's, like, where I, we're headed. I think I think we're headed there. It's just going to take some time to get to that. Like, because you're still bringing in people from outside, right? Like, when you have your own stable, uh, like, population. Right. I don't think you can really bring in people then by that time, right? If there's not... No, right, totally, totally, totally. But what I'm saying is, like, maybe the race of the future, like, in a thousand years, will just mm-hmm. be one race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It'll like, be a mix. Yeah, it'll be a mix. And yeah. then we'll have, like, all these different, like, cultures and customs that'll be understood and accepted. Mm-hmm. Maybe, like, racism is, like, the growing pains. Or it, it's not about, yeah, cultures being understood. I think it just, the cultures change. Like, it'll become a different type of thing. Like, it, 
you're going to have to adapt to the, the local culture that's here. Like, right, I see what you're saying. Uh, but, but like, but could that, right, okay, so you That includes, into... like, other things in, right? You take the good stuff kind of thing. So, totally, totally. So, like, let's say you have, like, a, mm-hmm. like a, a Caucasian person, and then you have, like, an Asian person, mm. different cultures, and then the race of the future will be, like, in a thousand years, it'll yeah. have both customs. Yeah. Y- like, you know, mm-hmm. like... Mm-hmm. Or at least it'll be like understood as to, or it'll have like new customs, you right, know. That right, right. Yeah, yeah. Like because how can you be? It's kind of weird. Although they do find it, um, like human species is interesting because it's like you don't really mm-hmm. have racism in, in, um, in like places with the same kind of uh, race skin okay. color. Yeah, but like you do have like racism in terms of religion uh like, religion like, i think even probably no but but, but like you know uh okay. in yeah. what was that movie where like the africans were like killing this uh like in rwanda rwanda yeah okay. hey, thank you thank you uh so like that's a good example because it's like you're all the same skin color but you'll find a reason to create in-group outgroup yeah, mentality yeah, yeah so it's maybe we can't escape it i mean even in that it was kind of i think I mean, it's even some areas where it's more like also like light skinned black people versus dark skinned. Like, yeah, so they're just gonna go against like tones of color now, you know? Yeah, yeah. So do you, so you think like racism will always persist? I think there will be some sort of hatred still still there. Uh, I mean, it's not like as it used to be before, right? It will probably be less, but it'll still be there even if it's just minor. True. True. Actually, you know what? That, all right, so do you see that thing I saw on my social feed uh, that happened at Candace Wonderland? No. Uh, there's these girls, these, like, Muslim girls with their, like, hijabs and this white dude is, mm. like, being, like, super racist towards them, and then somebody caught it on film. Okay. Like, they're, like, shouting at each other. And I was like, would this happen? Like, the only reason why this is happening is because of, like, a lack of understanding and education mm. you know and when you say like it'll always be there it's like you got to think about a person's upbringing yeah so it's like that person who's like acting in that manner they're going to like foster children who are going to harbor the exact same like belief system yeah you know because that's what you're gonna be brought up thinking yeah you know like your mannerisms will be the same even if that kid like educates themselves past their own parents it's like you're still gonna have that like subtle bias, and then it's gonna take generations to get rid of that. Mm. You know, because like that 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 kid is gonna like grow up, and he'll be like, "Oh, my dad's a little racist," mm-hmm. and then like that kid's kid will be like, "Oh, grandpa's racist," until right. like grandpa dies. Yeah. But it's like, what if, like, what about the ones that are like, "My dad's not racist." It's like this <laughs> is how the world works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like. I mean, sometimes, like, okay, it, like, even now, like, uh, there has been an increase in uh, in racism, too, right? Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, like, the rhetoric that's being used is, like, uh, whites will not have any power in the Western world, so, like, that kind of thing. Really? Is, yeah. Who, who said that? Like, that's the reason is, like... Oh, uh, that's for, why you need to keep your, like, uh, your... There are reasons for, like, Trump and stuff like that, like... There are some people that would think like that and, and vote like that. Pause. Did you see that Trump and Kim Jong Un thing? Yeah. yeah same. Uh, and then I was like, so I'm not paying attention at all to the media. Mm. And then I saw it in the store, like uh, me and my sister were eating. And then she's like, oh, do you, like Iran might go to war against USA or something? Iran won't go to war on, against USA. US wants to go to war with Iran. Oh, okay. All right. So whatever. So like, sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry. True. You're right. You're right. Yeah. But then it's like, are you building allies? That's my first thought. I was like, why are you doing this? Who? You know, like, America. Yeah. Either a publicity stunt or like. Oh, with North Korea. Yeah. And is it North Korea with Russia? Uh, they are allied with Russia. Yes. So then it's like all that all that talk about like but Trump in being the... with Russians. It's like, okay, maybe there is something there. <laughs> But uh, also, I don't think that's really something that's there. I don't really think so. Uh, because if he does go to war with Iran, you know who Iran's allies are? Saudis? No, Saudis I hate just, Iran. I just said that. 
Uh, you, America the, loves Saudi. Houses. All right, perfect. All right. Yeah. Uh, no, Saudi and Israel hate Iran. Okay, so uh, who's Iran's? Um, uh, allies are Russia and China. Oh, interesting. I believe it's China. Yeah. So, and it's not it's not like an easy thing. Like, like there could have been a start of war recently. Okay. Uh, with the Iran uh, shooting down their uh, uh, drone. Okay. America's drone. Okay. So like, and but then uh, Trump decided not to attack them. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Because uh, if it did attack, it's not like as easy as uh, Iraq. Iran is a much more stronger right, country. Right, right. Plus and, they have allies. Uh, plus they have allies. It just, yeah, it could be worse. Honestly, like... So the... the uh, I mean, Iran doesn't want this. They don't want a war, right? Uh, right. Like a lot of this thing is happening. So this rhetoric of... Like this is what I meant by like false rhetoric. For instance, like the whole... Oh, the Iran deal. Okay. Uh, and then using the rhetoric that, oh, we're giving them money or saying falsely that this Iran deal makes uh, gives them uh, use of uh, nuclear weapons or something. Okay. But that's not true. The whole point of Iran deal is so they don't touch your nuclear stuff. Right, right, right. Okay, I see what you're saying. To like, create peace. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, they, these sort of rhetorics can be used in a sense that seem, like, you know what I mean? Like, for, oh, these people are taking your rights away or you're going to lose, you can't. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I I get what you're saying. So, but that that goes back to like an education thing. And yeah. Like, I think at the end of the day, the biggest educational piece is to realize that mm-hmm. you have like gangs. Yeah. Of like, like countries are run like either a gang or a business, but businesses are gangs. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? It's like they're all the same thing. It's like it's all about maximizing profit and power. Right, you want right. to be the top dog. Yeah. Right. Uh, shout out Top Dog Entertainment, <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, you're the best. But uh, like you, you know, we we don't realize this, and we think like, oh, our country has our best interest in mind, and maybe it does, but it's like more about, it's more about like, yeah, it has your best interest in mind because you're you're a part of the gang. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's yeah. it's sort of like being like a, like a like a crip, you know, and yeah. you're like, oh, I'm a crip. And like, even though we do bad things and like, uh, like, like, okay. So if, if I'm a crip and then I go and become like a blood, yeah. right. Do you still have my best interest in mind? No, you don't. Right. Cause I switch teams. Yeah. That's what, that's what, um, um, uh, what treason is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's what is treason except for you're mm-hmm. fighting for another team. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, these are like. That's why 50 Cent made it so far with that book, like the 50th Law of Power. It's like, mm. what does he know about business? He knows a lot about business and politics, right. you know? And that's why I, like, I really loved studying like, um, like rap music mm-hmm. when I was in business school. Not because of like, well, it's like, it's got so many elements of business within it, rap music. It's like bravado and like tactics, yeah. you know, like um, 50 Cent's song, like Many Men. Yeah. You know, it's like Many Men Wish Death Upon Me. But it's like, yeah, all business wishes death upon you. you know? Like if you have <laughs> a competitor, they want your profit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like we don't look at it in this in this way because it's not nice to look at it in that way. Right. You know, we, we, we all want to think like things are good. Mm. You know. That's but that's like everything. Sports teams, bands you like. You know, like I was, I was uh, at the mall and I saw like so many people wearing like that, that uh, championship hat. Right. And I'm like, oh, you automatically get inclusivity, <laughs> right? It's like you wear the hat, yo, bro. We champions, bro. Right, right. right. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. okay, but I don't know you, but because you're rocking the same flag as me, mm-hmm. we're gonna be mm-hmm. like, okay, we're cool. We have like an unspoken bond. Right. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just that goes back to like racism too. It's like, mm-hmm. can you hack that? You definitely can hack the system of racism. Yeah, you know, because like, because what is raci- racism except like, it's a, a like a social heuristic. So, a heuristic is like a guess. Mm-hmm. You're looking at something and you're making an inferred guess on what that thing is without actually knowing. It's an assumption, right? Right, but like, certain things. 
we're, we're all racist. It's just, you know what I mean? Like, really think about it. Like, we all do these things. Yeah. Like, all right, you see, I made this uh, story post. It's, like, funny. How come, how come a group of guys walking in a dark alley always looks ominous? Mm-hmm. And then dot, dot, dot even though we're out here catching Pokemon. Right. It's true, though. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I was walking. I was like, yeah, we look kind of freaky right now. <laughs> so what I did consciously is, like, I pulled out my phone, had the battery pack, and I was, like, acting really dumb. Okay, like, right. oh, I'm just catching oh, okay, this Pokemon. Right, so, so, so. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then, like, I it's remember... Just, it's, it's, it's not, like, it's not raised by, races by race, but it's more just, like... Just the, heuristics. Yeah, guesses. Yeah. Because that's what, that's what racism yeah. is. Yeah. Social heuristics. Mm-hmm. It, but you have heuristics about products. Yeah. Heuristics are just guesses. Okay. But you put social in front of it, because it's like in a social setting, I'm making mm. guesses. Yeah. Right? Right. But that's how our brains work. If you had to actually like, but that's the importance of heuristics. It's like you can't spend all of your time finding out all the pieces of information. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you generally no one's going to do that. <laughs> Nobody's going to do it. How you would spend your entire life like, yeah. sp- like learning about things mm. before, and it would take you forever to make a decision. Right. But we make snap judgments all the time. Yeah. Or, uh, so, like, okay, this guy's swerving on the road. Mm. You're like, is he swerving because he's drunk? Am I in danger? These are all guesses. Right. Inferences. Yeah. You don't know if they're real. You're not going to like honk, pull over. Hey, sir, are you drunk or are you good? Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. But you're making the snap racist judgment of like, okay, this person's doing this. He must be like this. Right. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. going to. It's like a defense mechanism. Mm-hmm. You know? And like, but then it goes back to like, are these things incorrect? Like comedians. One of the things is, like, I love comedians because they can say things, and as long as it's funny, it's okay. <laughs> so Joe Coy's new stand-up yeah, special, yeah. Oh, yeah. so racist, but it's not racist because it's funny. Yeah. They're just joking. They're just having a lighthearted time. But if you look at it, like, the actuality of it, it's racist. Mm. But it's, like, it's true. I'm watching these things, and then they're saying these things about Filipino people. I'm, like, laughing so hard. Why are you laughing? Because you know it's true. Right. I mean, that's the whole thing of Russell Peters, too. Right? Russell Peters, perfect that's example. That's the main thing, right? But it's like, it's like comedians get a free pass. Yeah. If I can make you laugh, it's okay. <laughs> you know? I'm not saying comedians shouldn't be... Like, I don't... Like, it goes back to Nietzsche's line about, like, beyond good and evil. Yeah. Like, what... These are just thoughts in your head, like, paradigms. Mm-hmm. Like, ideas. Paradigms, ideas. Yeah. Um, but, like, it's like, at the end of the day, it's just an idea. So it's like... To harbor a racist thought is just, it's like, is the drug bad or are you bad? Mm -hmm. Two people can take like, like acid and then one person jumps off the roof and then one person doesn't. Yeah. And it's like, okay, it was, but it was just like the drug was doing its thing. Mm -hmm. You were the one making meaning out of chaos. Right. Because that's what the mind does. Yeah. You know, but that's also what social heuristics does. It's like, you're seeing something, you're making a pattern, Mm -hmm. you know? So like. Like, upbringing is super important. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because, like, how you bring someone up... You, all right, one, one of the biggest things is, like, I find this so funny, mm. when, like, they're like, my kid's going to be like this. <laughs> but then it's like, but you yourself need to be that first so you can be the exemplar for the kid or so the kid's going to resent you in the future. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, think, think about how many times your dad's like, uh, I love to use this on my dad. Shout out, Dad. I love you. If you're listening to this, love you so much. But he'd be like, you need to study hard. Mm-hmm. And then I'd be like, why? You you didn't do well in school. And he'd be like, it was, uh, your, your mom did, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'd be like, yeah, I'll study hard because mom did. But, like, you can't tell me that. Mm. You know? Okay. But, like, I do listen to my dad for, like, martial arts. He's like, okay, you know that, you know, boy, I used to tie a rubber band against a concrete pole and just punch it. And that's why I have arthritis now. And I was like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll listen to that. Yeah. You know, you can tell me things about that, mm. but you can't tell me things about studying, you know, because, right. like, you didn't do it. So, like, before you educate your kids on being not racist, mm. you yourself have to be not racist first. Right. Or else you're propagating the, like, it's like when they say be the change you seek, that's really what they're talking about, mm. you know, because it's like you can't change, the, you can't change anyone. You can, like, <clears throat> you can, like, provide a good example yeah and then people can choose to take it or they don't want to take it i mean that's the best way to start it off anyways right like to be an example like then uh i mean they can learn from that kind of thing yeah you're a living teaching yeah you know 
it's it sounds so spiritual but it's so like when you put it in that phrase mm -hmm. like you're a living teaching you're like oh it's a guru moment but it's sure. like no not really it's just these are just basic principles about life mm -hmm. the big the big mystery about like spiritual teachers is like you know how they say like oh it's all common sense but not everyone studies common sense mm -hmm. that's literally all it, that that is the truth it's right. like they just spent their time thinking about things that are like this actually makes a lot of sense yeah <laughs> You know, like, be the change you seek. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Yeah, I wonder where... I wonder where we're going to, like, end up. I really do want, like, obviously I won't live to see it, but, like, I wonder if in a thousand years we'll still have... Mm -hmm. Well, we must, because, like, we're doing the same thing still. Like, think about, like, uh, it, it'll be the same thing, but in a different form. Right. It's like we still have coliseums, we still have theaters. We still have ways to entertain ourselves. Mm -hmm. So for sure, if it's a human uh if it's a human impulse, we're gonna have racism. Yeah. 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 But the, yeah. No no. Yeah, no, no, you're right. Yeah. But but the big question though is like go, going back to it is like our cities I guess thinking about it now, they're just the growing pains, but it's like it just seems so like bad to want to live here it seems like that but then you gotta really i guess um take it in full picture there might be some bad things but generally is it a good thing yeah on the whole on the, on whole, the whole it's good yeah. but like what i'm saying is like um that's why they created these social clusters because yeah. it's like yeah it's great to live in this city yeah. but like i'm gonna stick to my group still but then i like, think with social clusters it causes more it my, does in my opinion because risks. then you don't really get to learn about your neighbor because totally Totally. Right. Yeah, 100%. Like but, I, it, yeah, but yeah. But then it's just not going to happen. Like, I want that, but it's not. that's not going to happen. Like, you people are going to gravitate towards things that they know or they're comfortable with around people that are similar to them. For sure. For sure. And, and it's not, I don't think it's a negative thing. I think it's like, no. uh, it's a survival mechanism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah. when I see that, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. when that person is being racist to those, like, Muslim girls at Canada's Wonderland, I'm like, you have expressed this because you feel threatened in some way. <laughs> yeah. Like I I'm like I don't overtly exhibit racism towards other people because I'm not mm -hmm. threatened by you. Mm -hmm. You know? But I mean sometimes even law they, like law goes into that too. Like I don't know why France is very adamant about not uh allowing them to wear uh those kinds of like full cover in it's something, it's like pool. a security reason. Like, security reason. No, but it was like a swimming pool and they can't wear oh, those sort of weird. things. I don't know why Maybe they're going off on that because some off. people, some uh, uh, some ladies got arrested in France wearing that in a pool. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh. So like it's like a law in France. Like, But do you think it's like a utility reason? It's like the, the lint is going to clog up our... <laughs> I don't no, think I, I don't so. I don't, like, I don't think they had a legitimate reason to... I don't know. They're I don't, just exhibiting racism. Uh, yeah. Or it's like, it's not, oh, no, 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 it was more like, this is not French culture. I think that was like what a lot of people were saying. Right. So it's like, but then you, where do you draw the line <laughs> on everything? You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, that's why we have like things like Foxkin right now. Right. You know what I mean? Like you're going to have trolls affecting the system. Like the, if you've, you know, I do about what I'm talking about with the Foxkin, like the guy put a Fox hat on and he's like, I identify as a Fox. <laughs> I he might have been serious. I think he's trolling. Right. So it's like, where do you draw the line on that? Mm. You know, it's like, it's it's a hard world. I think if people don't realize that, like, beyond good and evil, like Nietzsche was so correct. It's like it's all in the your game? head. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's it's uh it's all in your head. You know, it's like yeah. Do, at the end of the day, do these things really hold any weight? Mm -hmm. You know. Right. And they do, but they also don't. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, I, I want to qualify that whole thing about exhibiting uh, racism overtly. Uh, I actually do, because sometimes, like, if if I see, like, a group of, like, like gang-looking gentlemen, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, wait, that doesn't look very safe. Right. Let me go this way. Yeah. You know, or you see, like, a, a drunk guy on the train, mm -hmm. and then you, I always move. Right. So it's like, okay, that's racist, but it's a survival mechanism. It's a survival thing, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, 
That makes sense. You can't, you can't hate on. You can't hate on people for being racist, but you can, like, you can try and see why they're so afraid. Yeah, you can try to understand them. Yeah. Don't be scared, bro. <laughs> Don't be scared. Well, sometimes you gotta be scared. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Remember that one, uh, like, speaking of social clusters? Actually, uh, two funny stories. So the first one was when we were driving back from the north. Uh, remember? Where did we go? We went up to that the native resort. Okay, yeah. And, like, driving back, stopping at the Tim Hortons, and it was just, like, all Caucasian people. We got out because I had to, like, <laughs> use the bathroom. Yeah. I was like, this really feels weird it really did though like people well, see, like, like oh bro is, that's racist of you you're <laughs> making this assumption I'm like no no it, i felt i could feel it i was like this is a little weird right. like it's so weird for all of us yeah. let me just use the bathroom i'll be on my merry way because mm-hmm. on top of that like the way i, I was dressed <laughs> right you know it's like it's like i so the second story is like i don't know man i feel safe around white people no, totally. To- no, I do too. No, I'm not saying. No, I don't say that. I, I'm not saying that I felt <laughs> unsafe. There's no threat of harm. I we could just feel it was palpable. You were all just like right. They're gonna look you at you because you look different. What are you doing here? Right, right, right. Like, so yeah. I had to pee. You know yeah, I, mean? like, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not racist, and like well, the assumptions racist. No, it's not. It's like you could. These things are palpable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could just feel it. And then the other funny thing is like, so we live in North York, having like tattoos or dressing the way I do. Wearing the fanny pack thing. It's, it's not weird here. Yeah, it's normal around here. Like, yeah. Dude, right. you think this is weird? Mm-hmm. Look at what the other Koreans are wearing. What they're like, cre- I love their style though. It's so sick. You know what I mean? They're wearing that, um, uh, the shark. I gotta say, I like Kim Jong Kim Jong un style. <laughs> That's very minimalist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's like a uniform. It's like Steve Jobs. Every day the same thing. Yeah, I like it. It looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, but you know how people are like, I would never shake that person's hand. You know, like, the thing, like, you know, people are like, yeah. you know, they're just like, I, I would never want to be in a room with that person. They're so bad. Like, oh, Trump's terrible. I wouldn't watch. I, I would be like, I wonder what that's like, bro. Mm. Like, the way, especially now that I'm hitting 30. What do you mean they would have been bad? I mean, I, I you've think. You've never heard that before? No, like, no, no, oh, no. I, I've heard that, but it's like, these are just talks, and it's always good to have talks, <laughs> I think. And no one. I mean, he did kind of like make this. Uh, he like he's the first president to even sitting president to even. Maybe he on. chose to do that. Cause he's like, I'll be legendary, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's also <laughs> it's also part of his election thing, right? True. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think a lot of these moves are part of that. Like, oh, he's actually trying to bring peace, so vote him in again. Oh, that's pretty smart. Outside yeah, of, true. Outside of the bad, like, if he went to again, if he went to, I think if he went to war with Iran, he might not win because the people don't want that yeah no nobody wants war again yeah but then that he ran on saying that he wouldn't go to war right or he would bring everyone out right so like when if he did attack i think it could have been a bad outcome for his election in my opinion yeah for sure yeah 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 no no war things like nobody likes that anymore yeah but yeah what was I saying about the uh, like the, just to talking about that, like someone, <laughs> it, it, like the D- Democratic debates were on also last week. Okay, yeah. And someone said, one of the Democratic guys said, like, uh, like why we need to stay there. I'm like, that's the wrong answer. You're gonna lose. Stay in in war? Oh, uh, Afghanistan or like we have to, you know, uh, keep them in control, like the Taliban. Wow. But then like one of them had a really good. I think Tulsi Gabbard had a really good rebuttal to him he's like Taliban were already there before us ha <laughs> touche and they will be there even after we leave so but, there's no so, point in staying there and then he's tried to bring up like so his facts were wrong or something like he brought he brought up like oh but they're gonna get powerful and, and attack us but it, it wasn't Taliban that attacked us it was but, the Al-Qaeda right, and okay. we already took out the Al-Qaeda okay bro how are they going to get powerful and attack you if you cut That's off their I'm supply saying, chain yeah. no no if you cut off their supply okay, chain right yeah 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 it's like they need to fund their guns yeah. What, do you think they're just going to magically appear like a drone? Yeah. How? <laughs> yeah. Somebody's got to sell that drone to them, bro. Exactly. It's, it's all commerce. Yeah, so yeah, just yeah. like cut off the legs of, what was it? Cut off the head of the snake or some, something like that. Whatever. Mm. Just like cut it off at its legs and then it's like it's done. Yeah. You know, like. 
I find like, oh, like it'll just it'll never like maybe you never like know. we've been like, there. Well, not me as in us. It's it's America that's been there for like over fifteen years now. One five. Yeah. Oh, that's the longest, <laughs> and a lot of money used up for that. But again, it's like we don't know war economies, right? Like no, no, no. I know, I know, I know. I'm just. I think even Trump. He I'm just came saying, out in saying the in that. the general sense, to win, you're not going to win saying that. And like, even if Trump did that, he's not going to like if he attacked Iran. I don't think he's going to win again. No, no. But I think I think they played on Joe Rogan saying like uh, Trump, how Trump said it's like um, a war economy, like the war machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's. I know he said that. Yeah. So it's like you're just you're. It's it's all economic. It's all no, no. Business. I know, I know. But to but to win again, he won't win again if that's the if that's the case. The platform, yeah. Because yeah. the majority. You just don't can't say those it. sort of things. I know it's going to be difficult to even get out of this stuff. Because like, uh, like it's it's just it's already been planned out. Like all these countries, it's it's interesting if you watch um, some of these old interviews. What they've said. Oh, I've seen that movie too. <clears throat> I've seen that movie too. Where they? Oh, I think it was um, American Made. Was it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. And um, at the end, they talk about like all the different countries that they're going to go into. Uh, maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there was an actual like general that's not there anymore. I think he, in one of the interviews, he mentioned he got a list of countries that did like that was before, way before like we even touched Syria. All right, all here's stuff. here's the crazy part: businesses all the time are thinking strategically. We have, like, short-term and long-term plans, right? You have, like, the five-year plan, the 10-year plan, 20-year plan. These are, like, goals and objectives you're trying to achieve, yeah, yeah. right? You don't think governments are doing that? Like, that makes no sense. No, no, of course. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah. but you're... Oh, but it's not also that, though. It's like, yeah, yes, they are, but they're also thinking in the dollars that they're getting donated from, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So for sure. if they're getting uh, paid by oil companies, they're only going to think in what oil companies need, right? Totally, yeah. Ex- but not necessarily but again, the benefit for the country. Again, it's... All right, so, like, let's just swap this out. Substitute. So, the oil company is the consumer, right? Mm. You are providing a service, so the country is, like, the business. Yeah. Right? So, if the country is providing a service, i.e. allowing you to build in their country, mm. you have to adhere to the demands of... The consumer mm-hmm. so it's like if you and i were like oh, i'm not gonna buy apple products anymore because you took away this feature yeah they're gonna bring that feature back right yeah right so at the end of the day the power is in the hands of the consumer mm-hmm. so it's like but the consumer is the oil company because the consumer is basically the one providing the revenue to keep yeah. going yeah. you know what i mean and yeah again business mm-hmm. you know and like but it's interesting. Let's see what we'll see what happens because there's there's a shift in even in, in in what's happening there, right? Like, like when when Bernie ran in 2016, he ran on just people donation, right? Not from corporations, right? Yeah, but no, no, no. Again, right? But so a consumer, a consumer in the business perspective is just somebody who's going to give you money. Yeah. So it's like okay, so the oil people aren't going to give me money. I'll just go to the other end consumer who's going to give me money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you fund me to do something for you. Yeah. Right? That's all business. So though. in a sense, people are funding him to do what people want him to do. Exactly. Yeah. You're, you're just playing, I know, to, I know. You're playing to the yeah, minority. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I agree with that. You know, or... Yeah. 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 So it's like... Like, it's interesting, the shift. Like, uh, one thing I noticed in the Democratic Party now, like, last time... You can tell a shift. Or you can tell not a shift. You can tell the difference between Bernie and Hillary. Okay. Now everybody. Now they saw the populism rhetoric working. A lot well, of them. It's all jump on board. It's a like, lot of them are talking the same kind of way. It's like when so then you get con- then you get confused like who's really genuine and who's yeah, not. Yeah, for sure. It, yeah. It's like it's like the touchscreen. It's like as soon as like or tablets. They're like, oh, Apple's got these touchscreen tablets and they're yeah. so sick. Yeah. We all got to come out with one now. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, yeah. Again, business. Because that's just... Human nature is just the cultivation of business. Yeah. Or business is the cultivation right, right. of human nature, whichever way you want to look at it. But, like, you can't escape business. Mm-hmm. Commerce. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if, like... I don't know. It's just, like... It's weird mm-hmm. to think about 
what level of understanding you need to be at to accept that as a fact. Yeah. Because yeah, a true. lot of people still harbor like altruistic views on like life, but it's like life isn't altruistic. No. That's true. Life is a perspective that you decide to attach to. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Will racism ever go away? Probably not. Probably not. Will the entire world be educated? Probably not. No. Not the entire world. You ever see that movie Elysium? Yes. Yeah, it's it's gonna be like that. Yeah, you're gonna have like these elevated classes, and then like the poor people. Yeah, okay, it's kind of already happening. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, as, as a final note, I thought this was interesting because me and my cousins were talking about it. Everyone talks about how like the West is like amazing cities, but it's like, have you been to Asian countries or like even um, Dubai here is like amazing? City like, wise, we, yes. We we have these like yes. uh, inaccurate perspectives on like how great the West is when it's like, no, we're actually lagging behind in like a lot of countries. Uh, in some ways, yes, but um, Western world. Why do people still come here, though? Because it's it's the it's the right playing field for globalization. Yeah, it's it's the global marketplace. That's yeah. why the real reason why the West is so important is not because of all the advancements we have here. Yeah, because in Asian countries they have way more advancements. In like Dubai, I'm sure they have way more advancements. But what it is is it's like this is where we all collectively get together and we trade yeah. things. Yeah. That's why everything is in US USD currency. Like that's the global. Yeah, trading yeah, yeah. dollar. Yeah. Why? Because it's the platform. Yeah. Not Canada. Oh. Yeah. Series on, but not not Canada. Um, but we get lumped in because we're part of the uh, NAFTA or the American Free Trade Agreement. Well, not anymore. It's US and US. Oh MCA. really? Wow, I'm so behind on the times. It's not even a thing anymore. No, it, I mean it's it's still kind of like NAFTA, but they, they don't. That was the whole trade thing that was going on between U.S., Mexico, and Canada. Like the people wanted, people didn't want NAFTA in America. Oh, okay, okay. Well, whatever. But now it's USMCA. All right. Wow. See, look, they're just flexing their power. We're gonna put our name in there. Well, that's Trump. Trump was trying to do that. But yeah. What is it? USMAGA. USMCA. MGA. Make America what? Great Again. MAGA. Oh, MAGA. U.S. MAG. <laughs> oh, what? No, 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 just trolling oh. on the uh, acronyms. But you, you know what I'm saying? It's like mm. we we think that it's it's almost like we got sold this idea of like, yeah, yeah you guys are the best. Yeah, we all want to be in West. Yeah, 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 but we're gonna stay in our countries that have like way sicker products. Mm-hmm. But you guys are the best. Yeah. But it's really just like where we come to trade. Yeah. Also, their money is actually no. I think Dubai's money is higher. I don't know. But like, I would assume. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Or euro is the highest, I believe. The the pound. Oh, the pound. Yeah, it's like Not double or something like that. Yeah. 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 Well, which makes sense because Britain was the one that propagated the whole world thing. Because <laughs> like, U.S. came from Britain, so of course the pound would be higher. Yeah. See, but nobody's nobody's talking about Britain being the greatest city in the world because they're trying to sell us the idea of like oh no the west is the best because that's where we trade things mm-hmm. so stay stay in your little pocket you know what I mean like we can't grow anything here we right. have no history here not yet but like yeah, you know yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. if you look at everything everything's being built from the ground up yeah, yeah, yeah. because well here yeah there's no I history. mean in, in yeah, North America yeah. yeah North America yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we like kicked out the original people <laughs> from here right to like build our platform of commerce. Yeah, it'll take another thousand years to have some kind of. But in a thousand years, it'll be like it's just different. a whole new thing. Yeah, it'll be a whole new thing. I but know, I know. But if you look at the reality of the situation, yeah. it's like it's almost like okay, guys. So you have all like if this were like a, a game, yeah. you'd have all the players on the outside being like, okay, we need a place where we can collectively trade our goods. This place looks uninhabited, <laughs> but there's a lot of people there. Let's just kick them out. It's all good. They can't fight back. You know what I'm saying? That's literally what happened. But again, it goes back to gangs and commerce. Yeah. 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 That's like the secret of the world. Captain I mean, Ramos. You know? yeah. 
It, but you know what's it's funny? Kind of... It's like, it's like, gangs are also playing the exact same game. Yeah. But the bigger gang, which is countries, is like, yo, yo, yo. no, no, this this game's already <laughs> filled, bro. Mm-hmm. You yeah. can't come up. We got to keep you down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and, but like then that's why you have a black market, which is like Hell's Angels and like, yeah. like uh, the Yakuza and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so, but you know, in uh, I was watching this Vice thing, and like the Yakuza are an accepted thing now. They have like stores with like the Yakuza marking. It's like you know, this is owned by Yakuza. Yeah, I mean, they want to. I don't think legitimize. Yeah, they want to legitimize. Yeah. What, what was that thing in Godfather? It's it makes like sense. <laughs> in, in the movie Godfather, it's like you always want to go straight. Yeah. You start off like making illegitimate money, but you always want to go straight. Yeah. You want to essentially join the bigger gang. Yeah. You know, the one like, that's legal. <laughs> yeah, the one that's the legal. legal is gang, the gang of leaks. Yeah. Legal. Yeah. The legal gang, and it's like, it's all it is, though. You know, like you ever see that meme where it's like, uh, like gangster, like there's like a picture of like, uh, like, like gang members, and mm-hmm. it's like gangsters. And then underneath, it's like businessmen. It's like the real gangsters, you know? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like yeah. Be on Wall Street. That's the legitimate. Like, perfect game. example. When when they, the 2008 crisis, and they yeah. got bailed out. Yeah. You know? And they're like, the bigger <laughs> gang's like, no, no, no. Kind of messed that one up, but we're going to let that slide. Yeah. Get a little bit of reprimand, you know? It's like, it's like, I don't know if this is real because I'm, I'm not in a gang, but like if you fail your mission as a crip and they just like beat you up, they're like, it's all right, you can come back, but mm. we're just going to give you a little scolding, you know, parallels. Or they convinced the government that you, we're bigger, you need us. I think that's really what it is, though. It's like the yeah. gangs that are in play right now, it's like you can't mess up the equilibrium, you know. Because this is what works right now. Exactly, and it's like that's why I don't believe that. Like, and it's also what for, we only know. <laughs> for for a long time, like I was agreeing with Joe Rogan when it's like, oh, you, we should vote for our presidents. Okay. And like, I was even championing that while I was in school. I was like, you know, like government systems don't make any sense because we should have like local governments, small governments, whatever, whatever. And it's like, but you're just you're just restructuring the power system. It has nothing to do with voting. Yeah. Like, no, voting is, like, the illusion of, like, you know, like, mm-hmm. how do we make people believe that their choices matter while all of us are, like, really calling the shots behind the scenes? Yeah. It sounds so conspiratorial, but it's not. No. It's just business. Yeah. Yeah. Not a negative thing. Like, I, no. I don't hate the system. It's, like, um, what did, uh, what did, um. I feel like I gotta throw that out there so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> uh, but it, it's like it's like Guy Ritchie, you know. He's like, yeah. don't hate the system, like just understand the system, accept the system, move on into the system. Mm-hmm. Like this is how we like without these quote unquote gangs that are in play, we wouldn't have this podcast. Yeah, no. You know, you gotta respect the ecosystem. Yeah, it's like all right, you guys. Mm. You know, res- give respect where respect is due. Put some respect on my name. You know. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah uh, yeah. I I, well, no, I think that's that's right. I'll yeah. leave it. I'll leave it with I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes that's the right answer. Yeah. All right. So till we get more information. So <laughs> true. And then even then we'll still say Probably. I don't fully know. Yeah. I know a little bit more than before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if that's true though, because like I yeah, remember yeah, how true. much of a like a like a staunch belief system I had before, and it changed. But I think that's the thing. It's like adaptability is key. You need to be able to like adapt to these different paradigms that come in front of you. If you're always gonna like like stay in your corner and be like no, and the yeah, world's just gonna pass you by. That's yeah, because things change and you get more information, and you should be able to change with that. Like, I think if you if you just stay in the st- one stunt belief then it's just like religion then yeah exactly yeah and it's like idealism it's like a control mechanism at that point if you're not able to like let go of a belief system yeah. then you're being controlled yeah right mm-hmm. because like even if everything in your entire body is like no this is wrong but you're still gonna stick with it <laughs> that's like the saddest thing in my mind uh, yeah I could I could never like personally I don't I could never live life, life like that mm-hmm 
Like I could probably hide it, but it would just like eat but it's away gonna at gr- me. Yeah, it's gonna eat away at you, grind you. Like it's gonna eventually. That's why I always change things. You know what I mean? Like as soon as I'm like, eh, it's enough. Right. Like I've had enough. Like I've I wrote I just put out this article about like uh, like uh, a master. It's called a master of none, and basically the idea is like I've had these amazing teachers in my mm. life, but oh, it's like Alexander the Great. Mm-hmm. What I assume is his quote, but like Maybe. having a um, a specific teacher yeah. limits you to their shortcomings. Yes. Yeah. So you just have no teacher and then you're limitless. Yeah. You know? And like, I mean, yeah, that's funny. That's one of the stories in one of the character story in Hinduism. I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe that's where it's from. It's not actually yeah. Alexander the Great. Like, like that was an exact thing. Like he became like the teacher wouldn't teach him. So he taught himself and he became better than Exactly. The best guy that was there. From right, totally, teacher. totally. Yeah. And I think that's that's how you achieve like a free thinking society. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't have to agree with what we're saying, but just understand that that's what we're saying. Right. And it's like, no, this is what, like everything I say, I truly believe, you know? Yeah. But I couldn't imagine being in a position, well, I have been in those positions where it's mm-hmm. like, I could stay here, yeah. but this is going to make me go crazy. And I could already feel it, so I nip it in the bud. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? Mm-hmm. It's happened so many times. And it's like, <laughs> Tara, ter- like, well, she said it before, but it's like, you're a phase person. Because <laughs> I get so dedicated into things. Right. right. I think about, like, how many things I've done in my life that I'm, like, obsessed with. Yeah. You know? And, like, then at the drop of a hat, I'm like, all right, enough. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, I don't want to be controlled. I just wanted to learn. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, but then in doing that, you have people who are controlled and are like trapped and then they're like bro I thought you'd be here forever and it's like no because I don't live my life in a box right yeah you know or maybe I do but the box that I have has collapsible walls right maybe yeah. like you know what I'm saying I, I it's know like, what you're saying. yeah I just I feel like if you don't have that skill or mm-hmm. that ability mm-hmm. you'll forever be lost and controlled Oh, yeah. You know? I think so. And then I, I wrote at the end of that article where it's like, uh, if you if you find something that you're like, oh, I, I look to this guy to, like, learn something from, it's like, cool, but always move on. Like, mm. don't don't be like, oh, my God, forever. You will be my team. Like, that's so dumb. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's how you get cults, bro. Like, I don't want a cult. Uh, true, true, true. Uh, that's true. Although I was with some, well, I've been in huh? two cults, oh. two attempted cults. It's just like, oh man. Well, not really. They're not really cults. I mean, everything's a cult technically. Technically. With some respect to my name. <laughs> so, yeah, always, always got to treat it with respect. Mm. You know. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, you shouldn't limit yourself, or else you'll never realize that you are a limitless being. And that's what they really mean. At least I think that's what they really mean. Right. You know, and they're like, oh, you're limitless. It's like, yeah, but we put boxes on ourselves. Mm. I'll never be able to do this. You don't want it bad enough. Right, right, right. That's a big thing, right? It's like, I don't want, I just don't want it bad enough. And that is huge. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's true. Like, people are always like, it, it comes down to two things. Either, like, oh, I guess at the end of the day, it's one thing, desire. Like, how much do you want it? Mm-hmm. But it's like either laziness or like delu- self-delusion. You know what I'm saying? It's like, mm-hmm. you could do it if you really wanted to. You just don't really want to do it. You're taking the comfortable path. Right. Yeah. Which is like, if you want to live that way, sure. Mm. But then, is this me being racist towards people that choose the comfortable path? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> You were so into that firefight right now? I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me, let me re-ask. Yeah, re-ask um, that. If you're listening to this on iTunes, um, Vish is, like, really into a firefight, which is, like, a shootout right now, and he's about to die. Yeah, so he I doesn't just want died. to die. Uh, All right, cool. Died. So let me ask you again. Yeah. So me feeling this way towards complacent people, mm-hmm. is that racist? Yeah, to complacent people. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so you can't escape it. You can't escape it. Well, like, it's a, it's a different word, right? Race itself means 
racist means it's to the race. I guess it's a different so like kind a, of word. Uh, but like, I know what you mean. Like, it's like the idea. You could, you could. Uh, it's just I'm making a sound with my mouth. Yeah, yeah, Making yeah. the sound of racism. Yeah, but it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. no, the the concept of racism. You were being racist towards complacent. A people. type of people. Yeah. A type of people. Yeah. So it's like, you'll never escape it because I just did it. Mm. You know what I mean? Bro, I'm not racist. <laughs> okay. If you don't think so, like, maybe you're just being taken advantage of. Maybe. I don't know, or yeah. you're deluding yourself. Ah, uh, true, true, true. One of those. Um, yeah. Possible. Yeah. Actually, uh, okay, f- fi- well, final thought. Final okay. Thought. Do you think that the material the the t-shirts that are sold at walmart are less good than the t-shirts sold at the gap uh well i think the assumption is walmart is cheaper yeah it's racist bro yeah see what i'm saying so it's like i just proved it if you honestly think you're like no i'd rather buy a shirt from walmart than um the gap Mm-hmm. I mean, sorry, I, I ra- vice versa, sorry. Um, I'd rather buy a shirt from The Gap than Walmart because Walmart's got cheaper products. Yeah. That's racism. Because <laughs> it's like, hey, you're being racist towards the company now. Yeah. It's like, how do you know? Uh, you don't actually know. Right, right. It's you true. look at the tag, they're both made in Bangladesh. No, that's true. That's very true. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I just made a yeah, racist comment. <laughs> what? Yeah, like I just made a racist comment saying like that. Like, that's very that true. Walmart is... Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like the sound that you make with your mouth to create a word <laughs> yeah. is you're looking at the superficialness, mm. whereas you should look at the real principle, the substance behind it, which is like what is really going on. Right. And we're all racist. We just don't like to call ourselves racist because that's a negative term. But you're being racist to people that are using that term. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's a feedback loop. Right. Yeah. All right. So... Try not to be as racist <laughs> this week, um, yeah. but you can't help it. So, can't help it, so enjoy, enjoy the day. Don't worry about it. Yeah, till till next time. <laughs> These are your uh, Socratic gamers. Yes. Take it easy. Peace. Bye. Bye bye.